Hey guys, so far I've shown you how to make the adult size face mask with elastic ears and the child size face mask with the ribbon ties. I'll put the links down below. And today I'm going to show you how to make your own DIY face mask for toys. And I think the face mask on toys is a great way to start the conversation with young children about wearing face masks outside and why we need to. And just try to explain coronavirus and COVID-19 all around to children who don't really quite understand what's going on right now. There's an easy way for them to understand and maybe not get so scared about it. Some of the supplies you'll need are your basic sewing materials like a needle and thread, scissors, tape measure or ruler, along with... Um, some material. I have two old single socks here that I can't find the other one so I'll just be using that. You could use anything you have lying around the house. You could use old t-shirts, old dishcloths, old bed sheets, and then you need the dolls you want to use. I'm going to use some of my daughter's favorite toys. We have a Build-A-Bear teddy bear here and we have this little um, baby shark toy that um, is like a square shape. And I also have a little dinosaur here and then also an Elsa doll that is pretty much the size of a Barbie doll. So with the Build-A-Bear teddy bear, the mouth is about four inches wide and three inches long, so four by three. Okay, so whatever side you're gonna want facing out, you'll turn it inside out first. So I'll start here, I'll turn the sock inside out and then you're going to measure how much you're gonna need. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it right here and just draw it off. I'm gonna take a needle and thread. I'm using a darker color and a thicker piece of thread so that you can see it easier on camera, but usually I would just use a white and tie a knot at the end. And then I'm just gonna stitch around the line that I just made, starting over here. And what it is, is just a basic stitch. You could do a basic back stitch or here, I'm just gonna do a simple stitch here. Stitch all the way around. And then when you get to the end, you'll just want to make a knot. Just the end. Snip the end. And then you'll just want to cut around the circle and careful not to cut the thread. Okay, once you have that, you want to cut just a little slit on one side. So that you can pull it through so that you can have it right side out. See? Now the little bear has a face mask that fits. So now I'm just going to take some ribbon and then stitch one here, 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 and here. So here we go. Let's take one ribbon here. Two right here. And then stitch the last two. More ribbons, and then you'll just tie, put it here, and then you can just tie it around your bear. How cute is that? And I also have a little dinosaur here, and he is about four inches by two and a half inches. A weird shaped face because of his nose. So it has to kind of go all the way around. So I'm gonna take again my sock, kind of just eyeball it how much I need. shape and then just fit it 
He has a little face mask. And then to attach it on, you want to get something that stretches over this side. So I'm just going to cut two of these little strip guys here. And stretch it over the dinosaur. If it's too big, just, you know, stitch it in a little bit. And if it's too small, just give it a little bit extra. Once you have the straps on, you'll just want to line up the mask so that it fits correctly. And then you'll just want to stitch it on. And for this one, I'm probably going to want to attach it all the way here so it's secure and doesn't come through. Now it has a face mask. For the Elsa doll, which is the same as Barbie doll size, her mouth is almost an inch wide and half an inch long. This Elsa doll is so small that I think it'll only take one strap. And this is one of the little baby hair ties. I think it would fit right over around her ear. And then I think I'm just gonna take the little piece of cloth, maybe stitch it around so that I don't really need to do too much of a mask. good I mean don't drive yourself too crazy because if your kids anything like mine these are all gonna come off after a day if not even and then for the baby shark I would say this is two and a half by one and a half inches adorable is this? A little striped face mask for your baby shark toy. Final products. So cute. What happened to your dollies? What happened to your toys? Your toys have a face mask now, okay? We have to wear face masks when we go outside. Remember when we go to the store, when we go for our walks, we have to wear a mask? Yes. Yeah, it's to keep us safe and healthy, okay?